Hey, welcome back. Coach Michael Fields here. Coaches, athletes, sports fans. Uh, glad to have you back. Hopefully you're subscribed to my channel. Um, if you want to find me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Coach Michael Fields. On Twitter, Michael K. Fields. And of course, you can email me at CoachMichaelFields at gmail.com if you want more information, you want to talk football, want to talk sports, uh, got any general questions, I uh, would love to hear from you. Uh, so coming back, um, you know, my motto is always uh, coaching beyond the scoreboard. Uh, if you're interested in stickers or shirts that say that, let me know. Shoot me an email. I can get you uh, get you in touch with uh, the, the, the folks that take care of my merch. Um, again, uh, coming back, we're getting into football. Football season's right around the corner. And uh, this is, again, our, our second play day one install. Okay, We are still, you know, gun tee spread. Uh, in our offense, uh, this is our three, this is our four. Our tight end is our Y, as most guys will have it. Uh, this is our X and our two. We do number our quarterback as one, and we will run our quarterback with some called plays. Um, we are a gap team, or a whole team, a numbered whole team, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. Uh, sometimes we'll call this nine. Um, and then... <coughs> Uh, quick alignment rules here. You know, we run 18 24 inch splits. Um, we like to run two foot all the time, uh, but teams will start to squeeze in on us. We got to adjust a little bit. You know, we'll adjust that based on the defensive alignment. We do typically see the 4 3 uh, with a kind of a base cover two shell. Most teams are going to walk this guy up. They might slide him in and walk their, their rover, their strong safety. They're going to walk him up and keep their Sam over here uh, to line him up over him, or even they'll stack these two. Occasionally, we will see a you know a, a three five three or a three three stack look, um, you know where they'll slide you know over and then stack the linebackers up um, and have kind of a third kind of overhang safety, um, and that's okay. We we will just change. The only real things that change on most of our plays is when we're running our buck sweep and trap it doesn't change a lot except for when they're stacked who comes inside is who we trap so then it just changes the rule of this guy right here not a big deal it's a quick adjustment quick timeout or you know we've covered it in practice so hopefully they see it and we've game plan well enough for our guards to, to know that so our basic you know we are a guard trap team we're not a belly team like most gun t teams or most wing t teams are uh, we do run a version, our version of belly. We call it a dive, and we typically run that with our quarterback. But uh, another day, another video. Right now, we're just going to talk trap. So uh, I've had a few uh, wing tee guys, gun tee guys, think that you can't run trap because there's nobody to fake belly, and we just don't fake belly. Or I'm sorry, we don't fake buck. We don't fake our buck sweep on this. We just run trap, and it hits quick. Hits so quick, we don't need that fake, okay? Uh, so our base rules are this is the guy That we're trapping we're going to trap that D tackle who's generally shaded to our uh, Three hole or B gap, you know if you're a defensive guy shaded to the B gap over here And that's what we want to run this play. Okay, so we're going to keep our Y on him we're going to try and get this guy to come inside here this block isn't always going to happen, but we want to try to get him if we can. Um, if we at least run at him, make him step forward, there's too much of a mess between all the guys here. You know, two, two offensive guys, two defenders. Somehow we're going to try to just get in their way again. It hits so quick, this guy's got to be a real stud. He's going to have to be a D1 recruit if he's really going to scrape across to get it. Okay. Because of our formation, you know, we widen it out. We might even cheat this guy out and make him walk out with him a little bit. And it just depends. You know, this guy, since we're a gun T team, these two guys are kind of a slot receiver running back combo kid. Um, we've got anything from a 155 pounder, you know, 5'7 uh, with wheels to maybe a guy who's more like 6'1, 6'2, 160, 170. Uh, they got to have hands because they're part of our pass game, but they also have to be physical blockers. They're not linemen. They're not going to, you know, pancake guys every time, but they're going to be just nasty, physical, get up in a guy's grill, get up in a, 
a D end or a, a linebacker's face and just kind of be in his way and hold him up for that one two count for our backs to get upfield. And if our backs aren't fast enough, we find a new back, is what we tell our guys. So back to our rules here. These two are here. Centers going down to nose. This is our puller. Uh, we're not worried about this guy a whole lot because it's hitting so quick. Again, he'd have to be pretty fast and just crashing at the snap to get there. Uh, so we'll kind of chip him, work up to that second level, third level perhaps. Our guard is going to inside release and not touch him to this will backer over here. Same thing with our tackle. Don't touch the D tackle to the mic. And then this guy takes a quick shuffle and he's straight ahead here. And now if he can really push him across, it's straighter up the middle of the field to split the safeties. If he can't quite, he's going to bend it out and kind of have to cut back when that strong safety comes at him. Um, and we may even have this guy kind of hit and move up here depending on what we think this guy can do or what this guy can do on film. We're gonna see what they do and we're gonna adjust accordingly. We're stalking outside, of course. And our quarterback, now this is more of a turn and run at him after the handoff. Because now instead of riding like we would on Buck, he just opens that hip and the two comes in and with that quick shuffle, takes the ball to get upfield and he's running at this end because this end is virtually unblocked. We might rip through him, kind of an inside release with the tackle to get up to that next level. So the quarterback got it, has to at least occupy this guy, this D end, so he doesn't slam down and make that play. Um, and then here's our, of course, our trap. It's more of a straight line, obviously. He's gonna go where the center was and kick that D tackle there, okay? So I kind of guess that's an important block to show since we're running guard trap here. So uh, just gonna trap him there. So um, that's how we occupy him as that quarterback running at him. He's at least gonna have to freeze and see if the quarterback has it. Cause again, we'll tag it. Uh, we have a tag that we can put on the end of any play that just tells our quarterback to keep it. So if we see, you know, we've run buck sweep, we've won, run trap and this end is smart and he starts following this guard down. Uh, we're just gonna tell the quarterback to keep it and we're gonna burn you for 10 yards on that. Again, we want four yards of play, trap, buck sweep, any of our plays, we get four yards, we're happy, you know? Um, and we'll run this on a, you know, a first and 10, a third and long, whatever it might, well, probably not third and long, but a second and long, uh, because if it's done right, uh, if we get to linebacker depth before we get touched, we should have six, right? And you don't usually think about an inside, you know, uh, you know, a, a, a two hole, one hole play being a six, seven yard play, but as quick as it hits, if we can get the trap block and the nose and at least get a guy on him and he's getting to four yards where that linebacker is before he gets touched, he falls forward, that's another yard or two. So we should get five, six yards, easy four yards if we miss this guy because of as quick as it hits right there. It's kind of just a quick shuffle, grab the handoff straight up the field. Um, and again, we depend on these guys to have, you know, traditional halfback speed with the fullback's power. So we really kind of, this is our workhorse guy right here. So he should have the power to overtake most linebackers or at least be equal to linebackers to where we got a 50-50 chance of falling forward for that extra yard or two. And he should have the speed to beat most D linemen. Our offensive linemen, these five guys, tackle to tackle, um, they may not weigh a ton, and we want them to be fast. We're not worried about size. We'll take a 5'9", five, 5'8", five, kid who is um, you know, 175, 180 pounds. If he's strong, you know, hits the weight room pretty good and runs well, we'll take that. Our, our Y, our tight end, generally has to be one of our best athletes, best blockers, really has to be kind of a stud. We got about a 6'1", 210 kid uh, who just looks like a bodybuilder right now. This year and a couple years ago when we won a state championship, same thing, that kid's playing at the university level now. Uh, this kid's got a chance to probably go there and the couple kids behind him, we gotta get in the weight room, we're ready to go there as well. So thanks for watching again. This is Trap from the Gun T Spread. This is how we run it. This is our day two, second play, day one install. Works really well for us. Um, we've had a lot of success with it. Coach Michael Fields, again, like, subscribe, and share if you can. And always be, uh, be willing to reach out to me on social media or shoot me an email. Love to talk ball and uh, kick things around with you. Thanks.